One of the great projects we're working on now is the pellet printer. It's taking the Gigabot platform, removing the standard print head that traditionally uses filament, and replacing that with a new print head that accepts plastic pellets. We think it's a super powerful tool that will open up new and high growth markets around the world and also bring down the cost. So traditional filament can be a little pricey for plastic. The plastic pellets are an order of magnitude less in cost and there's a greater variety of plastic pellets available on the market. At the same time, as we print from pellets, we can print a much larger bead through a larger nozzle and allow us to create those prints faster. The idea to opening to recycled materials, to me that's really cool. As well as the cost of pellets is so much cheaper than the cost of filament. It's a lot cheaper to run one of these printers. The pellet printer is a functioning unit and it's functioning well. It's very promising. We've got some beautiful looking prints on it. We want to improve the print speed, improve the print quality, something that rivals a traditional filament-fed printer, even though we're using a larger nozzle, even though we're using larger layer heights. The other way we want to move forward is using new materials. We would like to see multiple materials run on the machine, characterize the materials and how they print, developing all the simplified 3D profiles so that a customer is able to use just a drop-down box, pick their material, pick their layer height, and say go. We see that just as the first step. The second step would be to bring in the recycled material. That's really our goal. So it's innovations like this that really keep Re3D pushing forward on the technology and delivering a product that customers not only want now, but they'll have use for in the future.